hello everyone welcome to this video today we will create together this part let's open a new SOLIDWORKS for a part file and then start to build it together on the front plane I'm going to create firstly a sketch and I will create a sketch as you see on the screen so we can make this one construction geometry and complete this area again and uh, construction geometry yes this will be construction geometry i added this part to make this uh, points and the edges in the same uh, direction and we need to have a construction geometry in the uh, middle because of i want to give diameter dimensions here we have a 40 here we have a 50 and the height is 35 here we will have a 135 and height of it will be 5 and we have here a 20 and diameter here will be 30 as you see it is fully uh, blank and fully defined it is important to work with fully defined sketch now we make revolve in this axis we will make revolve and now i'm going to add my fillets three time radius two and we are going to look from top surface and creating here a sketch this is one and this is the second both of them will be converted to construction geometry and having an angle of 8 we can close this uh, sketch and we go reference geometry plane line and point plane 1 and line and point plane 2 now we can hide plane 2 and on plane 1 we can create a sketch by looking normal to there and first part uh, of the sketch will be creating a construction geometry and then here creating a rectangle but three point center rectangle with an angular orientation this will be vertical edges will be equal simply we click to edge line and we make them equal here we have a height of 10 and here we have a length of 3.25 and we are going to copy it select chain linear pattern y axis 3.5 and 7 instances maybe we can define this two point as vertical or, or we are missing yeah this dimension to make it fully defined yes first operation done and then we create extrude and a 45 degree extrude and direction 2 will be active draft outward and 1 why we did that if you are wondering because we are exactly on the point tip point of the diameter we shall go inward to create the uh, uh, material to combine with our sketch that's the main reason first operation is done plane 1 is hidden and second uh, will be active now and then we create the sketch uh, simply we are going to look normal to there and sketch we create a line and again same operation in fact here I do have one rectangle this two will be equal 
and this length will be vertical and the distance between this point and this uh, center will be 1.75 and we have length of 325 and then we are going to make a, a copy now and I think we have made one mistake this should be at angle 4 yes exactly sorry we are correcting our sketch guys the first angular first two sketch this two sketch will be in the 4 degree instead of 8 and now we create this part and now we can copy it linear sketch pattern and the x1 the y will be 7 with the distance of 3.5 and dimension y spacing it will be good to have a uh, fully defined sketch in fact and then features extrude same operation 45 direction 2 to the outward and 0 0.5 even good yes everything okay now we can hide planes and I'm going to define now fillet and 0 0.3 fillet will be there exactly all this edge selected and then we make a uh, three radius and we are going to make a revolve a circular pattern sorry this will be center 360 by 8 45 instances features and faces will be this three object and partial wave active everything seems fine can take some time to complete I'm going to stop video for a while and say okay now almost there it took around two minutes to uh, complete on my computer I'm using a quite old computer in fact in SOLIDWORKS kind of problems or in fact all kind of CAD problems what's well, problem is having a lot of surfaces and number of parts in fact these are two main things that makes your poor computer slow the drain simply system resources and I'm going to assign some material and then we will have a nicer look I believe let's put from here some random material metal for example chrome set and finished yeah it's looking quite nice in fact very simple example also but yeah you will learn some nice skills thanks for watching if you like my video please do make comment but if you find video very easy if you are looking for some challenge go visit my channel you will find there about advanced videos see you in another video